This is for all the people been asking about the four baby ball pythons that I got a few months ago. Actually, they're not babies anymore. They're doing great. And I see one's in shed and one just finished shedding. I love this really dark, dark one on the left there. It's gorgeous. But I just want to do a quick little update and show all my friends how they're coming along. They're all doing great. They're very active, very healthy, very social individuals. And they're all beautiful. Pastavi's shedding. He's been shedding forever. I know. We got two of them here shedding. I know which one to shed. And there's a full shed in there. Yeah. In they came off the one with all the dark black on it. I love that snake. That's just beautiful. This one's got a lot of the dark too. But we're getting ready to feed them. My daughter Carla. Say hi Carla. It's snake feeding day here. <laughs> Food day at the zoo. Food day at the zoo, she goes. Yeah. Chewy's up prowling non-stop today. Trying to wreck his house. I took his water dish out so he can't throw his newspapers on it because he knows by habit if he wreaks havoc in his house and makes a mess on it then I take him out so he gets to come out so I can clean his mess up because I'm anal retentive about my snakes being in clean enclosures that white plastic wreck over there is my thawing wreck for my snake food but yeah Nosy's still trying to shed she's having a stubborn shed because she had that respiratory infection but she's doing a lot better no vet, no antibiotics. I took care of it myself. It's really simple and really easy. It's called common sense and doing a lot of observing of your snakes on a regular basis. But you got to consider in a captive environment, their instincts are to survive and uh, take care of the problems that they have just like they would out in the wild. So they know how to take care of things when they get sick for the most part. So there's, there's still a snake, you know, whether they're out in the wild or they're in a captive environment. A snake is still a snake. You got to think like them, consider their habits and how they live and what they do to survive in the wild. They're the same animal in the cage. So that one is beautiful. Look oh, at them. No. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm almost out of bubble tea. <laughs> snake feeding lady today. Bubble tea. I've never heard of that. That's awesome. That first sip almost made me gag. <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Oh, definitely. I'm just learning to nice. like cold coffee. Give me a, some credit here. I'm working on it. Look at these two lap cats over here. I usually end up with what I call accidental cold coffee. I make a cup of coffee... The oh, mine's distract always distract me for two hours, and then I find it sitting on the counter two hours later, ice cold. Mine's always beside me, cold during the day. I do it all the time. Bell's shedding too. I wish she'd hurry up and finish. I put some vitamin E on her because she's having a little bit of a dry shed. But I put her in a plastic tote. Like two, two, two. I put her. He won't stop going. He's just been on a mission today. Wants out. Yeah, they do. The weather's got them really tricked into thinking spring's coming real soon. I hope they're right. I hope they're right. I really do. Yeah, it's snake feeding day, so I just want to do an update and show everybody how great the ball pythons are coming along. They're not babies anymore. They're getting there. A little slow in development, but they're healthy. They're doing really good, actually. Very social, very friendly, and beautiful, gorgeous snakes. These are a Mojave and a Pastel combination. Better known as Pistavis, but yeah, they're Pistoffi. beautiful. Pistoffis, my daughter calls. The one she calls Pistoffi. She wants a shed right there with his head sticking up on the left. That one. He's not a jerk. My snakes aren't jerks. Pistoffi is. Pistoffi just arrogant. That's not. Arrogant equates to jerk in my book. <laughs> <laughs> they can have attitude. They can definitely have attitude. I love this one with all the dark on it right there. Especially the black head. That happens to be missing a few scales, which is rather ironic. Which means I could possibly make a scaleless down the line somewhere with a female 
scales. Look at the variety of colors and patterns out of these four babies. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. So different. Well, people are different too, so I guess you can expect it. Yep, I'll be splitting them up here shortly in the NPI enclosures, putting each one in one half of the 34 inches and that way there'll be two in each 34 inch MPI enclosure. I have dividers that go in the middle so each one will have its own little section of the enclosure. They don't need to be together much longer because eh, probably by late spring or early summer they'll be looking for a mate and I don't want four boys together when that happens because I don't want anybody battling or acting foolish because there's a female in the house as well, but just my beautiful clown girl. So I don't want them fighting and arguing because there's a female in the house, but oh, almost dropped camera again. I just want to do an update on them. My daughter Carla's here. She's feeding them today. 